County Schools believes that personalizing learning today will prepare students to be life ready tomorrow. Our school is a personalized learning school, which means that each student can learn at their own pace and it's unique to each individual. It helps us learn at our own pace and it's unique to each person. Personalized learning to me is a pretty good thing because I usually move faster than others, so my teacher just goes ahead and gives me the work and while the other students are still working, and I think it's pretty cool. We get to take votes, and our teachers will have more than one option for us to work on. You get to have your own opinion. You get to events and things that you would like to learn about. I actually feel like I can actually change something in, instead of just being a bystander. Empowering student choice and learning ensures that personalized learning today is truly preparing students to be life ready tomorrow. And students are coming up and saying, I now am engaged in my school experience like I've never been before. I'm able to give voice and choice in what my opportunities are. I'm able to demonstrate multiple ways of mastery of the content that I'm expected to know. And they are just excited about their learning experience. We want to offer our students more opportunities to excel or advance and, of course, give them more real-world experiences. Um, offer them more choice, voice and choice in their education and taking more ownership in their education as they proceed through the middle school years. Our vision of Henry County Middle School as it applies to personalized learning is for one, for students to take ownership of their learning, to prepare them to be career and college ready. We're thinking beyond middle school years because we want to make sure our students here have the foundation to be productive citizens outside of Henry County, if that's what they choose to do and to be. We want to prepare them for the outside world, not just these walls here at Henry County Middle School. We believe that personalized learning is the way to reach the students to propel them to that next level. The largest impact here at Henry County Middle School with the personalized learning that I've seen has been that students feel that they have a voice, that they have a choice in how they learn and what they learn and how they learn it. And that has been the biggest impact. They feel like they have more of a vested interest and they're taking more of an ownership into their education. It basically strikes a match with them whenever they're interested. So if they're interested, of course, they're going to be more motivated to learn about whatever it is. So applying it to something that they like versus me standing at the front of the room just sitting here like this and delivering information to them, there's a drastic change. It is more effective for them to learn this way because again, they can choose how they want to learn the information versus me telling them what to do. The communication is much more open and they feel more free to express whether they like something, don't like something. This is not how I learned Ms. Parkin. This is how I learned Ms. Parkin. Can I do this instead? It gives them the opportunity to stand up for themselves and how they learn. And of course, that also takes effect throughout everything in the school. So their parents feel more comfortable because you're letting their child learn in a way that suits them versus teaching to the masses. And then your parent communication becomes more effective. Everything just, it just, it's a ripple effect really. Advisory is a way for us to kind of connect with students. The kids see the advisory teacher every day, Monday through Friday. The first thing that I've seen increase here is the relationships, the student-teacher relationship. The second thing that I've seen grow is the student-to-student -student relationship. You know, they grow to respect each other a little bit more. Then their confidence increases, so the parents are loving it. Students through advisory are helping build their learning profiles. Teachers and students are using the learning profiles to uh, translate that into the activities and to help guide instruction in the classroom. It has given the children the opportunity at Henry County Middle School to feel that, okay, there are other ways that I can learn this concept so I don't have to learn this textbook way of learning. This year is the first time that we've started being ambassadors and I'm an ambassador from a lot of my classes. When you have a real job, you have to interview people, you have to talk to people a lot. I definitely think this gives me the experience. As a teacher, that's what we want for our kids. We want them to think beyond the classroom and to be involved and engaged in something that they 
um, can connect to their lives and to the future. Project-based learning is a way for the students to take control of how they learn. When the kids are learning real-world skills like writing and research and things that are going to help them for college and for career, um, it's very important that they kind of work through the process on their own. And so project-based learning allows you to do that. It allows the teacher to step back and be a guide while the students are all in in the research, they're all in the process, and they're having sustained inquiry, and they're asking questions that they may have never asked before. They're retaining it more. They remember it. There's, it's not re basic recall. They have a depth of knowledge about the content, and they remember it. And I believe that they will remember this content for years to come, and maybe for the rest of their lives. I enjoy station rotation because it allows me to go at my own pace and to move forward. Personalized learning is actually what it says. It's personal. It's personal to every student in this classroom. The station rotations really allow students to go at their own pace. The students really like it because they feel like we're not leaving them behind. Some students don't say anything and as a teacher you have to say, okay, I can see the student's not getting this. I can personalize an assignment just for that student. So when they come in the next day, it's just for them. Maybe nobody else has seen that assignment, but they needed that assignment to help them get to the next level. It's going to look different in my room and the teacher's next door's room and somebody across the hall's room. It's going to be different because we have different students that have different needs. We have to make learning relevant to students so that we reach them where their mindset is in order to make learning exciting for them. And in, the, in return for making learning exciting for them, it then becomes exciting for us as educators. It's amazing how the, the excitement of a few has really ignited the rest of them to, to come and join in. And let's see, what the, let's see what all of this is about. All kids deserve the opportunity to be awesome in life and we have an obligation to make that possible for them. At its core, this work is really about giving kids a sense of, of empowerment, a sense that they can tackle any challenge that's presented in front of them at any time. I believe that personalized learning will help me get closer to what I want to be when I grow up. It's getting you ready for the real world when you're older, so you could be more independent. You could go tell other people, oh look, I learned this new thing today. And They'll, they could probably try it and it could pass on and on and on. We are the Toastmasters of Henry County Middle School. <laughs>